Hello student, in this video we are going to see about the, uh, the correlation between the assertion and reasoning statement. Uh, I have already completed incorrect, identify incorrect factor, identify the correct factor, complete the following chain, right or wrong. Okay, those topics I have already completed. I have also created a telegram group in which I will be sending uh, the question bank full videos all the videos related to the question bank solution on that group so you'll get an idea about it objective as well as subjective answers i'll be posting continuously on it so you can uh, join that group the link of the telegram group i've shared in the description box now uh, let us start with this so uh, from first to tenth i have recorded in the first video in the part one section and this is from 11 to 20 video uh, so the first question is assertion statement the working population classified according to occupations is known as occupational structure and b occupational structure indicates the development of the countries so we, whatever is the working population working age or working population so that population is considered as the occupational structure so this is the correct one and occupational structure definitely is going to indicate the development of a country so we all know that if the working population is more definitely the gdp will be more definitely the per capita income will be more so that is going to lead to the development of the country so both these statements are exactly correct but occupational structure indicates the development of the country so this statement is not giving the correct explanation for the a so option d is the right answer here next question in uh, assertion in the second stage the death rate declined but the birth rate remained stationary whereas in the next statement population increases rapidly in the second stage now basically we all know that in the case of second stage the death rate is gradually decreasing but the birth rate is remaining stable it is remaining stationary this is the correct statement second statement is population increases rapidly in the second stage this is also true because of that only it is known as population explosion uh, explosion stage okay where the population grows very fast now what we have to see is that the second statement is giving the correct explanation of a so is population increases rapidly in second stage so is it explaining that in uh, in the second stage the death rate declines but the birth rate remains stationary so in this case you can just so here the second statement is not giving the correct explanation so because of that both a and r are correct but r is not giving a correct explanation for a next next question is 13th one assertion statement settlements can be of various types so we all know that settlements it can be of various types like it can be nuclear type isolated dispersed okay there are so many different different types and patterns rural settlements urban settlements so uh, this statement is true that it can be of various types and various physical factors affect the growth of settlement so we all know that yes settlement is affected because of different different physical factors so in this we can say that both the statements are exactly correct and the second statement various physical factors affect the growth of settlement so settlement can be of various types so this is the exact explanation of a so option c is the right answer let us move ahead with the next one 14th one uh, when cities grow their functions also grow definitely so cities and functions grow next cities can have only one function now in the reasoning part of the statement it is told that cities can have only fun one function so this is wrong so cities are involved in so many functions like transportation, tourism, trade, some other functions uh, like industrialization. So this is totally wrong. Cities can have multiple functions. Okay. Because of that, they are called as 
metropolitan cities or uh, they have so many different different types of exposures to all the uh, to all the different different technologies and mechanization so uh, by this we can understand that one statement is not correct so the answer for 14th one is only e is correct option e let us move further with the 15th one cities can have various functions so here this is the correct statement cities can have various functions second statement state and national capitals provide various administrative services yes obviously if there is a city it is a well planned city so it's the uh, responsibility of state government or uh, na um, national government to provide the capital to develop the city in a very proper manner so here you can see that both the statements are correct so now state and nation capitals they provide various administrative services and because of that these cities can grow very properly and they can have very various types of functions so both a and r is correct and r is giving the correct explanation of a next is assertion 16th one mining is developed in chota nagpur plateau so we all know that yes mining is developed in chota nagpur plateau next reasoning chota nagpur plateau have large deposits of coal and iron ore this is also exactly true okay so there are large deposits because of which uh, the development or uh, mining can be carried out at this particular place so both the statements are true and the statement r is giving the correct explanation of a why because because as chota nagpur plateau is rich in coal and iron ore because of that mining is developed in chota nagpur plateau in india so it is giving a correct explanation for a next question is the 17th one so a assertion is commercial lumbering is developed in canada so we all know that commercial lumbering is carried out in canada and it is very much in a plenty plenteous manner and it is exported to various different different places the reasoning is equatorial forest are very dense okay so we all know equatorial forest are very dense so this statement is true okay now here in this question we can see that both the statements are correct but the first statement is related to commercial lumbering uh, that is the coniferous forest uh, and the second statement is uh, related to equatorial forest basically uh, equatorial forest ka jo wood hai na it is very very hard so it is not uh, easily cut down but in the case of canada the trees which we find the, uh, those are coniferous forest it has a very soft wood which can easily be cut down and it can be converted into furniture and all those things so both the concepts are totally different and the places are different so the statements are correct but they are not giving the correct explanation means r is not explaining correctly to the first statement so this is option d next question dogger bank is famous for fisheries yes this is exactly a true statement it is really very much famous for fisheries reasoning is what it has extensive continental shelf and availability of plankton this is also true as dogger bank has a good continental shelf okay so always the fishing is carried out on the continental shelf and availability of plankton as the plants grow in plenty at those places so because of that the fishes they get attracted to these uh, these continental shelf and hence fishing can be carried out very nicely so both the statements are exactly correct so you can say that r is giving correct explanation for a as uh, as dogger bank has good continental shelf and good availability of plankton so because of that dogger bank is famous for fisheries so r is giving the correct explanation of a so hence the statement is true 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाइनटींथ वन सो एसर्शन इज द ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट ऑफ मुंबई ऑफर्ड ग्रेट स्कोप फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कॉटन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्रीज सो योर द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट सो कॉटन टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्रीज रिक्वायर अड टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट सो वाइल कन्वर्टिंग द कॉटन इन टू थ्रेड यू रिक्वायर प्रॉपर क्लाइमेट देन एंड देन ओनली द थ्रेड इज ओन प्रॉपरली अदरवाइज द थ्रेड गेट्स ब्रोकन डाउन इफ इट इज वेरी ड्राई एंड वेरी कोल्ड क्लाइमेट एंड रीजनिंग इज वॉट इंडस्ट्रीज रिक्वायर एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर ओके सो वी ऑल नो दैट इंडस्ट्रीज दे रिक्वायर एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर नाउ basically cotton textile industries uh, do not work much on water it does not require much water uh, to convert the cotton into uh, the different uh, type of uh, material as both the statements are correct but as it is related to cotton textile industries there is no requirement of ample amount of water so both the statements are correct but R is not giving the correct explanation for A is the right answer. So option D for question number 19 is the right answer. Let us move further with question number 20. So the assertion statement here is in India diversity is found in industrial production. So here this statement is correct. India has large amount of diversity in the case of industrialization. the second statement is the reasoning statement in which it is told that india is predominantly agrarian country agrarian means what large amount of occupation which is carried out in india is agriculture so this statement is also true now here we have only two options left that is option c and option d in the case of both a and r are correct now we just have to look that whether r is giving the correct explanation for a or not now as india is engaged in large amount in agriculture so because of that you can see that there is lot of diversity in the industrialization production so according to me option number c both a and r are the correct explain uh, correct statement and r is giving the correct explanation of a so this is all about the complete the following chain from 11 to 20 the in the next video i'll be recording complete the following chain from 21 to 30 kindly watch the video thank you for watching do subscribe the channel